Hey, what is up everybody? It is me. So, duh, it's me. <laughs> but um, I am in the process of deep cleaning my room. Like if you look at my bed, it's a mess. I have my blinds off and everything. And the other day I kind of spilled wax on my um, like K-cup storage thing. And I figured I'd show you guys how to get wax off of a surface when you spill it. Because, um, you know, it can be difficult at times if you don't know what you're doing or you could like rub it into the surface a little bit more. So I'm gonna show you how to take care of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around so I can go ahead and show you. So right here is where it spilled. Um, my warmer's down there. Um, if you're wondering why I have cotton balls in here is I'm a bit getting ready to change out my wax. So I'm letting my um, wax warm up and then as it warms the cotton balls will absorb it so it's easy to change. So what you're going to do is your wax spill. So you're going to need a paper towel and a hair dryer or, um, or an iron, which I, um, at whichever is easier for you to access. So I'm going to go ahead and you want to place your paper towel right over top in a single layer. I'm going to use this little dachshund. Um, bottle opener to hold my paper towel down since I'm only using one hand and then what you want to do with your hair dryer you want to set it on the warm setting you don't need to have it up too high and then we're going to go ahead and heat the wax and as the wax heats the paper towel is actually going to absorb it so they don't come right out all right got it on warm Put it on the low setting let's see Actually turn it up to high so it absorbs the faster. And just make sure you have that paper, um, the wax. The paper towel sitting over top of the wax. Hopefully you can still hear me through this. I don't know if you can already see, but the wax is already being absorbed into the paper towel. It's only going to take a couple seconds because remember our wax does not at a very low temperature. So, oh, there you can see it's starting to spread throughout. Make sure I get all that wax up there. Now, as you can see, now the, it's absorbing into the paper towel. Alright, let's go ahead and turn this thing off. Let's see. I'm going to take that off. Hang on. Bam, see now. Ta -da! Now it is in the paper towel. And then go ahead and just I'm gonna spray the surface with some um Scentsy Counter Clearing. My favorite is Sun Kiss Citrus. Give that a couple spritz. And then take my microfiber cloth and give it a nice little rub down. And then bam, just like no. So, and I'm actually about to change my wax. So um, I have this wonderful Persian lime and sandalwood brick that is going to be no longer available after today. So um, if you have any bricks, I'm going to show you how to use those cubes as while well, I'm at it because I need to break myself off cubes. So you're going to go ahead and open it up. And then with these cubes, one large cube is the equivalent to four average size cubes. So I'm going to go ahead and make a couple pokes and go ahead and try and pry this out of here. Sorry, I'm doing this all one-handed. Hopefully I'm not getting you guys motion sick or nothing. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get that. Let me put this. So, as you can see, this cube is monstrous. And like I said, one of these is the equivalent to four smaller cubes. So what you want to go ahead, I have my uh, um, trusty Scentsy spatula. I'm going to go ahead and push it right down the center so it splits in half. Oh, that's only a part now. It's alright. Let's see. Oh, I feel so bad I'm making you guys car sick. I'm sorry. There we go. So I got a hunk off and since I'm only going to be heating this in my room I don't need a whole lot so this is going to be more than enough and then yeah, so I hope you guys hopefully this helps you guys out just in case your wax ever spills um, You can either use a paper towel or an old cloth um, Like I said a hair dryer on like a you can do a, a hair dryer on a high setting if it's like a hard surface But if it spills into your carpet and you're putting a paper towel over top of it um 
or a cloth use an iron and use that on a low setting just so you know your carpet doesn't get messed up so with that i hope that guys helps you out and i'll see you later bye